How's it going, everyone? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get multiplayer working in Craftopia. If you're watching this video. You're having a problem logging into multiplayer like a lot of other people. I've had a few people ask me how we were able to get multiplayer working in Craftopia, and I'm going to show you how we were able to do that. It involves you having to go into your router and forwarding port. If you know how to do that already, the port you need to open is 8787 with TCP and UDP. That's the main thing of it. There's a couple of other little pieces of it. For those of you that don't know how to do this, I'm going to be walking you through how to do this the best that I can. Everybody's system is different. Routers are different. You might have to do a little research on your specific router to find this out, but I can give you the general basics of how to do this. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go down to your search and type for CMD. Hit enter. This is going to open up your command prompt. In your command prompt, you're going to type IP C O N F I G. And in here, what we're going to be looking for is your default gateway. This is the IP address of your router. And then your IP address for your computer. You're going to need these two things in your router settings in order to make this work. You need it to get into your router and then you need your IP address to make it work. This is for, for anyone who is looking, this is for PC. If you're on a Mac, you can find this information also in there. If I remember correctly, it's under the Apple and I want to say it's system preferences. I can't remember off the top of my head but a quick Google search or something, and you can find out where you can find your IP and gateway on your computer. So once you've got your IP and your gateway, you're going to go to a web browser. You're going to type in the IP address of your gateway. Once you're in here, you're going to have a username and a password. Username and passwords, are different for different routers. I personally have a Netgear, which is a fairly common router. And I will show you how to what it looks like in here. But the main things you're going to be looking for, most of them have them somewhere. It may not be in the same place that I'm showing you, but it's going to look similar to what I have. For your username and password, if you're not sure, sometimes on your router, you'll have a sticker on there that will have your username and password written on there, or maybe the booklet that came with it. You can Google your username and password defaults for your specific router. It should have that where you can find what the default is. Most default usernames are admin. And the most common passwords are either they're left blank. The password is password, just P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D or it is admin also. My password, obviously different, I've changed it. So once you're in here, you're going to want to go to, most of them will have an advanced tab. You're gonna to go to the advanced tab and the advanced setup. What you're looking for is port forwarding slash port triggering, one of those. Once you're in here, on a Netgear, you're going to add a custom service. Most of them are similar to this. Once you add a customer custom service, you can name it whatever you want to. This is just for your reference. You also want to go down to the service type and you're going to want to pick TCP slash UDP. Some people say it's just UDP. We found that it's, you need to use both. You're going to want to open up port 8787 for your starting port and your ending port 8787. You want to leave the port range for internal the same. If you don't have this option and you need to do an internal one, the numbers will be the same. Some people have said I've seen 
in some of the different forms and stuff that you also need to go 8787 to ending 8790. Some people are saying they need to do that. Personally, for both of us, we were able to just do 8787 and it worked fine for us. Once you've done those, then you need to put your internal IP address. This is the IP address of your computer. You need to have it pointing to the computer you're specifically playing on for it to work. Best advice is if you can on your computer, set your computer to a static IP within your network so that it doesn't change. Otherwise, you're going to have to go in here and redo this if for some reason your IP address changes on your computer. Once you're done, you hit apply. Now, I already have one set up so this is going to have a port conflict so it's not going to actually work you can see here i have this opened up to 8787 to my ip address once you're done with this both parties need to do this so everybody who is going to be playing multiplayer with you needs to open up their ports it's not just one person once you're done with this you go into craftopia and once you're in Craftopia, you go to multiplayer, select your player, and then you're going to want to go to join via Steam. Once you click on that, you can find your friends in your friends list, invite them to the game. I'm trying to remember right now if you actually have to be in the game and then do, I think you have to actually be in the game in, in your map then you can invite people to join. Then you can, once they send you a link, you just click play and it'll log right into that multiplayer server. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. We will try to help as much as we can. Obviously with specific issues on specific computers, it's not exactly easy. This is just a general how to do it. You may have to look up how to do specific things with your computer or your type of router. I hope this helps and I will see you on the next video.